Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make this Puffy Hearts and Kisses bracelet. This is not actually my own original design, it was designed by an account on Instagram. Her username is Looming with Louise. This bracelet is reversible, so here is the main side and here is the, the opposite side and that's what it looks like on the other side and yeah. The opposite side well, the not main side, if that makes any sense. It looks similar to a zippy chain, but it's more thinner as you can see. But anyways, this was originally, originally created on the full length of the rainbow loom on a square set position. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with the staggered position for the sake of the people that do not have a rainbow loom and the loom that they have cannot move so yeah if you make this awesome design make sure you take a picture and post it on instagram and hashtag it to looming with louise and also to tutorials by kn so we can both like and see your creations and your color combos so without further ado let's get started so to get started making this presser you will need a rainbow loom or any kind of loom. I'm using beds in the color of medieval pink, gold jelly and metallic white. You will also need a hook. I'm using a metal tipped hook today and you will also need a C clip. So with that further ado, let's get started. So first off I'm just going to be showing you what colors I'm using for what. So on this bracelet where the white is I'm going to be using the same color and the white is like the hearts and the background like the blues and the glitter blues on this bracelet I will be using jelly gold and medieval pink so this was originally created on a rainbow loom with the square set position but I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it in the staggered position for the people who don't have a rainbow loom that can move. So first off again I'm going to be using white and you will need two of it and you are going to be starting with your red arrow pointing upwards. So you're basically going to be placing a band from there to there. Sorry if the camera is moving. And then place another band there to there and push those down. Now you're going to be grabbing three of your background colours. I'm using gold, um, gold jelly first and then just place it vertically on these two pins and then the other two pins. And make sure you push them down. Now you're going to grab two of your white or whatever colour you were using. And then do the same thing again and push it, push it down. So basically you are just going to be doing that all the way down the loom. I'll just show you one more time. Again make sure you push all your bands down so that after when you place all your bands down you can have space to loop and I'm just gonna come back till I finished the whole loom and yeah length of my loom and it should look something like this but in your own colors and on the last part just did the same thing just put two bends there and two bends there so it looks like an arrow shooting down and now we are going to be grabbing one more white band turn your loom around and then place a cap band on the middle last peg. Now you're going to be grabbing your hook 
and you're going to be looping the bands and it is pretty easy and yeah so first you're going to put, pull back your cap band and then grab the top white band and pull it on this peg if it does go on that peg if you place it the other way then place the band on that peg but now do the same thing on the other side just like that and on this hooking process it is a bit odd the, the new the new hooking process is kind of new but it's not that new but you're just gonna pull back this band and grab the color that you are using in my case it is medieval pink and just place it just like that you are not going to be placing it back on this peg but on this peg so make sure you do that and do that on the other side as well just like that and now you're gonna pull back the cap band grab the remaining band and pull it forward no special hooking technique you're just pulling it forward and now you're going to be pulling those bands back and grab the first top white band and it should be going this way so pull it that way grab the remaining white band and pull it on this side and if you are using a normal opaque band I'm using a metallic white you are just going to be getting your hook and spin it around so that the white band or whatever color you are using releases so it doesn't have too much tension on it which will cause it to break so now you're going to do the same thing as we did before so pull all those bands back grab the last band and pull it in the middle just like that do the same thing with the other side pull it in the middle do the same thing in the middle just like that now you're going to do the white bands again so just pull it place it on this peg and then pull the remaining white band and place it on this peg now I'm going to show you guys one more time pull back all those three layers of bands and place it in the middle peg and do the same thing with the other side sorry if the camera is moving again now do pull the middle band forward and remember never hook the outside the white inside like that you never do that because that is the wrong you are doing the opposite so you are pulling the middle to the outside peg just like that again if your band gets stuck twist your hook around it so it loosens up and do the same thing with the other side so it should look something like this now and you are just going to be continuing that all the way up the loom and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to finish it off. Okay so now I've finished looming all my bands and it should look something like this. And they stopped at the end because it's a little different. You are not going in the middle peg and then pulling it to the outside. You are doing the opposite. So we're, we are just going to be grabbing the white band and pull it in the middle on both sides. It's as easy as that. And now you're just going to stick your hook in. Grab another one, another band of yours. And just pull it through all those bands. Make sure you have all those bands so that when you take it off your loom, it doesn't fall out. So I'm just going to be taking that off. 
taking the, my bracelet off the loom gently So it should look something like this and don't worry if it looks weird, you are just going to be stretching it just like that. It does change up the look a bit and this is the reverse side so it looks like a zippy chain. But it's more thinner as you can see. And this brush is really pretty. I really like the colours that I used. But anyways if you made this on, a, on two looms you wouldn't need an extension but I made mine on one loom just for the sake of the people that only have one loom so I'm just going to be doing my extension it's as easy as that so you're just pulling a band through another band just like that and just need a few more So just like that and my wrist is pretty small so I don't need that much of extension bands but now I'm just going to clip it and then you're done with your bracelet just like that just find your cap band and then clip it and now you have finished your bracelet so thank you all so much for watching this tutorial make sure you go on instagram and make sure you follow and like looming with louise's awesome pictures and this bracelet was also created by her if you didn't know which i doubt but anyways make sure you also take a picture and hashtag your pic to Looming with Louise and also to tutor Tutorials by KN. Blech. I can't speak at all today. But anyways, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.